بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا الیکٹریکل انجینئرنگ چینل ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس دا ڈسٹریبیوشن آف لوڈ بٹوین پلانٹس ان دا پریزنس آف ٹرانسمیشن لوسز رائٹ سو ٹرانسمیشن لوسز مسٹ بی ٹیکن ان ٹو اکاؤنٹ اینڈ وی کین ہیو اے پلانٹ وچ ہیز لوور انکریمنٹل فیول کاسٹ بٹ دیٹ پلانٹ از لوکیٹڈ فاردر فرام that with the higher cost which is closer to the load so we have a load unit right and uh, for example this is the location of the load and we have two generators okay this is the location of the load we have two generators g1 and g2 g2 generator is located closer to the load and g1 generator is located farther from the load and in between g1 and the load there is a long transmission line so this generator g1 must have to include the line losses or the transmission losses uh, in its generation so in such a scenario we can have a lower incremental fuel cost for this generator and higher incremental fuel cost for for this generator but still we have to assign smaller load to this generator and higher load to this generator right normally uh, the generator with a lower incremental fuel cost is assigned uh, higher load so this is the generator with a lower incremental fuel cost so generally the generator with a lower incremental fuel cost is assigned higher load and the generator with higher incremental fuel cost is assigned lower load right smaller value of the load is assigned to the generator which has higher incremental fuel cost but in such a scenario when one generator is located far away from the load then we have to calculate the optimum sharing of uh, the load to both the generators to get the most economic operation right so in this case we may need to assign small load to the generator which has smaller incremental fuel cost and high load to the generator which has higher incremental fuel cost because this generator is located far away and it has uh, to produce more power uh, uh, due to the presence of the transmission losses so it has to cover the transmission losses as well but this is a local generator and there is no transmission line in between so this is the main concept and uh, now we can understand this thing transmission losses must be taken into account plant with lower incremental fuel cost may be farther from that with higher cost which is closer to the load as a result cost will be higher due to the transmission losses and load will be required to decrease for low cost plant so this is our total incremental fuel cost function right so if we have uh, for example k number of generating units and the sum of the incremental fuel costs of all the generators is equal to f and this can be written as the summation and f is our cost function similarly the sum of the generation power generation can also be added and represented in the summation form and this is called power balance equation total generation is equal to the total loss plus total demand so this is power loss and this is power demand and we can write it as pl plus pd minus summation pgi equal to zero so here we have pl as a transmission loss of the system pd is the total power received by the load we have to minimize this function f for fixed pd okay so this fuel cost function f must be minimized using the lagrangian multiplier method so lagrangian multiplier method is very efficient to find out the maxima or minima of a function and here lambda is used as the lagrange multiplier and this is our total fuel cost function and it is equal to the sum of uh, the individual fuel costs plus lagrange multiplier times pl plus pd minus summation i is equal to 1 to k pgi right so this is f and the units of this f is uh, dollars per hour and the unit of lambda is dollars per megawatt hours and in order to minimize f its derivative with respect to pgi must be equal to zero so this is the minima and uh, we can evaluate the derivatives of all these terms and equate them to zero right 
सो पार्शल एफ ओवर पार्शल पी जी आई इज इक्वल टू पार्शल एफ आई ओवर पार्शल पी जी आई प्लस लैमडा द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस पावर लॉस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी जी आई द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ पावर डिमांड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी जी आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज द लोड इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द पावर जनरेशन सिमिलरली द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस टर्म इज इक्वल टू वन ओके सो दिस इज माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो बाई रीअरेंजिंग दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन हैव लेमडा इक्वल टू वन ओवर वन माइनस पार्शल पी एल ओवर पार्शल पी जी आई इन टू डी एफ आई ओवर डी पी जी आई एंड वी नो दैट लेमडा इज इक्वल टू एल आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डी एफ आई ओवर डी पी आई राइट सो बाई कंपेयरिंग दीज टू इक्वेजन्स वी कैन से दैट एल आई इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर वन माइनस पार्शल पी एल ओवर पार्शल पी जी आई सो इन आवर प्रीवियस डिस्कशन द लेमडा वाज इक्वल टू डी एफ आई ओवर डी पी आई ओके सो इफ वी सी आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड वी एक्चुअली पुट अ कंडीशन दैट लेमडा इज इक्वल टू डी एफ आई ओवर डी पी जी आई एंड दैट मस्ट बी इक्वल टू डी एफ टू ओवर डी पी जी टू सो दैट वॉज द लॉस लेस केस इन विच वी हैड नो लॉसिस ऑफ बोथ द जनरेटर्स बट सिंस इन दिस केस वी हैव ट्रांसमिशन लॉसिस फॉर सम जनरेटर्स सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द वैल्यू ऑफ एल आई विद दोज जनरेटर्स विच आर एसोसिएटिंग द ट्रांसमिशन लॉसिस राइट सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एल विद इंक्रीमेंटल फ्यूल कॉस्ट ऑफ दोज जनरेटर्स तो लेट्स कम ओवर हेयर एंड दिस इज एल आई so if we compare these two equations l i is equal to 1 over 1 minus partial p l over partial p g i and this quantity is called penalty factor and for all those generators which are associated with the transmission losses we have to multiply this penalty factor with their incremental fuel cost functions so lambda will be equal to l i d f 1 over d p g 1 is equal to lambda l 2 d f 2 over d p g 2 l 3 d f 3 over d p g 3 and for those generators for example if the fourth generator doesn't have any transmission line then that must be equal to df4 over dpg4 without that l4 because for those generators l4 will be equal to 1 and for these generators uh, these l1 l2 and l3 are greater than 1 okay so li depends on partial pl over partial pgi which we can observe in this equation and this is the sensitivity of the transmission system loss which changes in pgi so df1 over dpg1 is equal to this and it is equal to this and minimum fuel cost is obtained when the incremental fuel cost of each unit multiplied by its penalty factor is same for all generating units in the system and lambda is called system lambda so this thing is again elaborated in this lecture and uh, penalty factor is defined over here and this is a factor greater than unity by which the incremental cost of power production of plant must be multiplied to accommodate for the transmission losses for economic operation incremental fuel cost of all generating units must be same that is lambda and uh, this is the lossless system okay but if we have such a system in which this is second generator which is local to the load and this is the first generator which is located far away from the load and in between there is a transmission line whose impedance is equal to r plus jx so generator 2 has a local load but generator 1 is not uh, a local generator and uh, if we double the power generation from the first generator it means we are increasing the current so it means i is doubled so initially if p1 was equal to 5 megawatt and it is increased to 10 megawatt it is doubled so it means the current is doubled if we increase the current then power will be four times because power loss power is proportional to i square right so pl is proportional to p1 square loss power is proportional to the square of the gen uh, first generator's power and pl is prop directly proportional to the length of the transmission line because the pl is proportional to the resistance and resistance is proportional to the length so pl is proportional to the length of the transmission line and in case of losses we will have to multiply a factor greater than unity uh, with the incremental fuel cost of that generator so in the previous 
slide that was actually L, which was um, denoting the penalty factor, and here I have replaced it with K, but both are same things. DF1 over DP1 into K is equal to DF2 over DP2 is equal to lambda. And uh, K is called penalty factor because G1 is penalized due to additional transmission loss. Now we will discuss the coordination equation and this is called the coordination equation. And uh, by rearranging this coordination equation, DF1 over DP1 is equal to this term and lambda is equal to 1 over 1 minus DPL over DP1 into DF1 over DP1. And from this equation, df1 over dp1 into k is equal to lambda. So by comparing these two equations, k will be equal to 1 over 1 minus dpl over dp1. And this is called penalty factor. So this is the same derivation or same equation which we have just discussed in this slide. right? So this is the same equation and uh, it has been represented in other way so both equations uh, yield the same result and this is our penalty factor and dpl over dp1 is called incremental transmission loss so this is incremental transmission loss and loss power is proportional to p1 square as we have discussed uh, before and uh, by removing the proportionality we have to introduce a constant and that constant is B11 which is called transmission loss coefficient. So we will discuss these transmission loss coefficients in detail in our coming lectures. Uh, right. So let's solve a couple of examples now on penalty factor and then our idea will be more understandable. So here we have one generator which is B1. There is a transmission line and the total loss is equal to 2 megawatts. Total generation is equal to 10 megawatts and power demand is equal to 8 megawatts. And uh, the incremental fuel cost of this generator is equal to 0 0.1 P1 plus 3. And P1 is equal to 10 megawatts. So first uh, calculate K which is equal to generated power divided by the consumed power which is 8 megawatt. And it is equal to uh, 10 by 8. So K will be equal to 10 by 8 which is equal to 1.25 and lambda is equal to DF1 over DP1 multiplied by K and DF1 over DP1 is equal to 0 0.1 P1 plus 3 uh, and put the value of P1 in this equation so it will be equal to 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4. So this is 4 multiplied by 1.25 so it will be equal to 5 dollars per megawatt hours. So this is our K which is penalty factor and it is equal to the generated power divided by the consumed power. So if there was no transmission line in between the generator and the load then the generated power would be equal to the power demand. So 10 megawatt and this would also be 10 megawatt and in that case that penalty factor was equal to 1. So in a lossless system the penalty factor is equal to 1 and for a lossy system we will have a penalty factor because it is already defined in its definition that this is a factor greater than unity by which the incremental of the power plant must be multiplied. So let's solve another example and in this example we are again given incremental fuel costs of two generators. This is power demand, this is first generator which is remote to the load and this is the second generator which is local to the load. This is the incremental fuel cost of the first generator. This is incremental fuel cost of the second generator and PL is equal to 0 0.5 into P1 square. This is B11 transmission loss coefficient. G2 won't have any penalty factor. Its penalty factor will be equal to 1 and DPL over DP1 is equal to 0 0.5 times 2P1. So differentiate this equation with respect to DP1 and that will be equal to P1. Now DF1 over DP1 multiplied by K is equal to DF2 over DP2 is equal to lambda. Right? And K is equal to 1 over 1 minus DPL over DP1. And DPL over DP1 is equal to P1. 
so this is equal to 1 over 1 minus b1 and also we know that uh, df1 over dp1 is equal to 10,000 which is incremental fuel cost of the first generator so 10,000 multiplied by k is equal to df2 over dp2 which is equal to 12,500 so from here we can evaluate k which is equal to 1 over 1 minus p1 so 10,000 into 1 over 1 minus p1 is equal to 12,500 and p1 is calculated to be 0 0.2 per unit. Assuming base of 100 MVA, P1 is equal to 0 0.2 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 20 megawatts. PL is equal to 0 0.5 into P1 square, so that will be equal to 2 megawatt. This is the loss power, this is the generated power of the first generator. And actual load fed by generator 1 is equal to 20 minus 2, which is equal to 18 megawatts. Since total load is 40 megawatt, so P2 will be equal to 40 minus 18, which is equal to 22 megawatts. So this is the load sharing which we have calculated in order to achieve the most economical operation of this power system. So that is all about our today's lecture. And I hope you have understood the concept of a penalty factor and a transmission loss effect on the power system economics. And for watching more lectures, please subscribe this channel. Until the next lecture, it's goodbye.